Well, good morning. It's Good Friday, and we're just going to do some of the Stations of the Cross, sometimes known as the Passion of Christ, where he shows his great love for us and for the Father in laying his life down. Jesus, who was the, the Lamb of God to take away the sins of the world, he himself became sin for us. He took the punishment that we all deserve for the things we've done in rebellion against God and hurting God and messing up this world. Jesus himself took that punishment upon himself and died on that cross for us. And so we see him, he was led out, having been falsely accused, they could find nothing wrong with him, but he was falsely accused and they, they released Barabbas, who was a murderer in his place. And Jesus walked with the cross. So we're gonna just walk now, I'm gonna see some of these stations. We won't stop at all of them but we'll, we'll pause on some of them. He was, had been beaten up. The Romans, uh, when they uh, uh, beat people up, they were left half dead. His face was disfigured, we, we read in Isaiah. Uh, unrecognizable, body covered with blood. They put the, the thorn uh, uh, on his head, crown of thorns upon his head. And uh, he, he was half dead, often a, a Roman beating. Uh, people would die from it. Jesus was very, very weak from this, uh, and yet he was carrying this huge cross, and so he did some stumble. And on one of the times that he, he stumbled, they recruited Simon of Cyrene to take the cross for him. Uh, this particular picture we see Jesus meeting his mother. Um, I don't know if you can imagine, it's hard to imagine. Uh, I've seen Jeannie in her brokenness from two of our precious children going to heaven early. But can you imagine, uh, as a mother, watching your son being tortured and finally being tortured to death upon a cross? So we see in this, this picture here, he's just meeting his mother and uh, the heartbreak, the heartbreak that was there. Remember, Jesus never lashed out. Often when we're hurting and we're in pain, we, we, we let out our pain on others. Jesus never did that. He says he was like a lamb led to slaughter. He didn't open his mouth. He just took the punishment. He, gave his life, laid it down for us, willingly, becoming sin for us, taking our place, the place that we all rightly deserved for messing up uh, in this world and causing such harm and devastation. Jesus himself said, I, I will take your place, I'll be your substitute, and uh, I'll take the punishment that's rightly due to you. There is Jesus just uh, uh, reaching now uh, out to those as he went. He was reaching out to people, people he'd healed, they were there in the crowd, people he'd actually healed and, and loved and cared for. Uh, they were shouting out, crucify him, crucify him. Can you imagine that? There he is uh, stumbling again, just, just in great agony and pain, that walk up to where he was going to be crucified. Uh, at this stage, Simon of Cyrene was carrying the cross. Jesus was in, in great pain uh, and suffering on the way there. Um, he would again just pause and hold out a hand uh, of love to people. Even on the way, he was, he was reaching out, his, his love was reaching out to folks. Um, that's, that's Jesus, that's his heart. Um, but he was half dead now from exhaustion, uh, great pain and suffering. There he was uh, on the way up to, to the, they used to play, call it the, the place of the skull or Golgotha, just outside the city of, Jeru of Jerusalem. And they came to the place where they stripped him. Cover, he would have been covered in blood at this stage, blood uh, covering every part of his body, his, from his head all the way down. There's just, just the, the stripes, the beatings, and that blood speaks of healing for us. Uh, every drop of Jesus' blood covered every part of his body. So it means that there's healing for those uh, things, th things mentally that we suffer, from depression, oppression, the blood of Jesus avails for us. We're told in scripture that by his stripes we've been made whole. There's life and power in the blood of Jesus for us. And that, that blood was shed all over Jesus' body, showing that he's covered every part for us. There's healing, a healing flow that speaks even today through the blood of Jesus Christ. So they stripped him. Uh, he, he was uh, just laid bare. So those, those of, of us who know what it's like to, to just, just feel very exposed, just to feel uh, great pain and suffering. Jesus took that suffering on himself. He can understand all that we go through. And then the final moment, so very cruelly the Romans took Jesus and they nailed his hands upon the cross. 
and uh, there he was on the cross, people watching on, all of creation. I mean, you can imagine the angels, uh, the fallen angels and, and the angels from heaven watching, and even the Father in heaven. I, I mean, it's hard to imagine that the Father in heaven watching his precious Son being tortured like this and put on the cross. But he did it for us. That's how much he, he loved us. This, this is how God showed his love amongst us. That he gave his very precious son for us. That he might be our substitute. He might take our place. That we might go th free through, through Jesus, through his blood, and come into relationship with God once more. That's how much God paid that we might know him. Amazing. So Jesus was, was nailed upon that cross. Um, and then they lifted it up. And they, they placed the cross down into its hold. Such agony. They, they, in the end, they stopped doing crucifixion. It was just too, too brutal, too horrific. And there Jesus was on the cross. He cried out to his father, 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 why have you forsaken me? In that moment where the sin was upon him, the sin of the world was upon him, the father could not look at his son. They'd been together through, through eternity. And that moment when Jesus bore the sins of the world, even the Father had to look away. And there was darkness that fell on Jesus. That's, that's what broke his heart, that his relationship with his Father at that moment uh, was separated. And Jesus died upon that cross. No, no question of him dying. The Romans came, they had to take the bodies down because it was the, the Sabbath coming, so they wanted the bodies off the cross. The two criminals that they'd, uh, uh, been, he'd been crucified with, they broke their legs so that they would suffocate. That's what happened on the cross, they would suffocate. You couldn't hold your body up any longer. They came to Jesus, he was already dead. And just to make sure, the, the, the Roman soldier put a spear into his side. And it says in scripture that blood and water came out. Now, they wouldn't have known when they said that, that that is a sure sign uh, of the separation of blood and, and uh, of serum, which is an evidence of death. Jesus had died. He died on the cross for you and for me. He died with our sin. And in that death, he destroyed death itself and he destroyed uh, sin itself. He took our place, making a way for us to come into relationship with God. And we're told at that point, at death, that the curtain in the temple, which was five inches thick, was ripped, ripped from top to bottom. That was the curtain that separated the, the Jews, the children of Israel, they separated them from the very presence of God. It showed a barrier, it's a barrier of sin that separates us today. And that was ripped. Why was it ripped? It was because Jesus made a way. Taking our sin, he, he took away that barrier between us and God. So that now anyone who comes, believes in Jesus Christ, receives him as their saviour. And all that he's done on the cross for them. And asked him to forgiveness of sins and come, for him to come into their hearts. They can come into a relationship with God. For eternity not just now but through eternity so what a day we remember precious jesus dying on that cross for us and we're so very grateful so i want to say a little prayer now if i may and uh, please join in if you will so father we want to thank you in this moment as we remember jesus dying on the cross for us and father we say thank you again that, that amazing act that, that speaks all through, through history, goes, goes back from to, to the very beginning of creation where you knew this was going to happen. And it speaks for us now today that anyone who comes to Jesus might come into relationship with you through faith, in, through, through faith in him. It's your grace, Lord, extended to us in Jesus. So Father, we say thank you. Thank you again today in this special day. And we bless you. And we ask you to draw us ever closer to yourself. And we pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen.